The following tutorial is brought to you by WholeLoops.com. It's production time. I'm Reed Stefan, realist puppet in the game. Today, I'm bringing you seven ways Ableton has gotten even better with the brand new update 10.0. One. The first thing that I notice when I open the software is the graphics have been expanded upon. Will really help you remember to grab the top of the clip to move it, even if you're in automation mode. Much easier to make edits like these and like these than it was before with the old version of 10. A new look for clips on the timeline is definitely going to help you moving around. And in addition to that, they have also let you zoom in using the trackpad on your laptop. It's great that Ableton has now added that in the list of features, but moving on to the exciting feature number two. The first new stock audio effect that I'm really excited about from Ableton 10.1 is the channel EQ. Compared to EQ8, channel EQ is real smooth. Let's try adding some mids into this vocal. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. Hey. I'm still with the ones I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got, got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. You can go all the way up without making your ears bleed. You could go all the way down without having your sound disappear. It truly is a musical EQ with built-in preset curves to take whatever you're trying to do and make it happen without sounding harsh. The next thing that Ableton has improved upon drastically in 10.1 is automation. You now have a brand new palette of pre-made automation shapes. Let's go down onto our keyboard. Let's do an auto filter and we could just make a selection of where we would like to do our EQ and it now gives us these little brackets and we can click inside of them and pick one of the pre made EQ curves. And we could just hit Command D and turn this into a loop in itself. And let's maybe bring the low end of the filter up. I'm still with the ones hey. I came with. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even. Actually, just to show the new feature, we can highlight from here, and then we could do a ramp up, and then just delete this point. You can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. Got got a lot of bread stacky sandwich. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey. This really opens up a whole new world of creativity on how you make your plugins dance. Do you suffer from weak mastering? Do your mixes sound like they belong in the trash bin playlist? Maybe you're just missing the sauce. Introducing Waves Master Sauce, our most powerful sauce preset ever. Finish your music today with Waves Master Sauce, only at holoops.com. Number four, let's say that you're using a sidechain compressor to duck your 808 to your kick. And let's say you wanted to freeze this track. Normally it would give you an error message saying, sorry, you can't do that. This track is involved in some sort of sidechain setup, but now Ableton 10.1 just freezes it exactly like you'd want it to, sidechain and all. And when you delete the sidechain input, obviously you still hear it sidechaining because we froze it with the sidechain on there. You could just leave the sidechain on the track, freeze it all, no error messages, exactly the way you wanted it to work. Thank you so much Ableton for making my dreams come true. Number five, when you finish your song, you can either bounce it out by having your master get bounced or you can make stems by selecting all individual tracks. 
you now have this new option called include return and master effects. So this is going to make a big difference in how your stems sound and what you're able to bounce out from your session and send to people. So if you're using aux tracks, I highly recommend you try bouncing your stems with this brand new option on. Number six is another really heavy hitting new feature. Ableton has now included the compatibility for VST3 plugins. And just to show you that this is real life and not a dream, let's take Autotune Pro out of here and put EFX in here, something that never used to work before. I'm still with the ones I came with. Hey, you can't touch the crew I hang with. Yeah, they can't even speak my language. And the seventh and final amazing new reason to upgrade to Ableton 10.1 is another brand new audio effect that isn't brand new. It's actually a mashup of two audio effects that aren't there anymore. If you scroll down, you'll notice that simple delay is missing and ping pong delay is missing. And it's because those two plugins have been merged to a new effect called delay. Let's turn the effects chain back on here and let's turn off our slate delay from our last tutorial. And let's try and do something with good old fashioned delay. So I'm gonna call this one delay 10.1 so I know this is the new the new delay let's turn our dry wet all the way up as you could see it truly is a hybrid of the legacy ping pong delay and simple delay but merged down together into a much more simple to use user interface I'm still with the ones I came yeah, with yeah, yeah. you can't touch the crew I hang with yeah, they can't even speak my language got, got a lot of well, there you have it. Those are my top seven brand new features in Ableton 10.1. If you're an Ableton user, I hope you find all the tips, tricks, shortcuts, and upgrades in this tutorial useful. And I'll catch you guys next time with another Ableton 10.1 tutorial. Peace out. I'm still